When connecting the Redback 100 volt volume controls, you will find they are fitted with these green terminal blocks. Now from the 100 volt output of the amplifier, figure eight cable is used to connect to the amp inputs on the volume control. Then the speaker out is connected to the speaker terminals on the speaker. Now there could be more than one speaker as long as the load does not exceed the load of the volume control. These are available in 10, 40 or 100 watt versions. Now the 24 volt DC terminal is not required for a standard PA system. I will come back to that. It is possible to run more than one volume control on the same line, as long as the load does not exceed around 80% of the amplifier capacity. Now in this example, this volume control will only alter the volume of the speakers on its line. It will not affect any other part of the circuit. You could continue the 100 volt amplifier line to more volume controls, and these will operate independently, only controlling the speakers that are connected to it. So the controllers can be set at different volume levels or even off. The 24 volt DC connection is only required should you wish to override the set level of the volume controls even if in the off position. As an example, when an emergency tone or announcement is necessary, full volume is achieved across the entire system ensuring important information is heard. Many Redback amplifiers and evacuation controllers are fitted with 24 volt DC switched out terminals. For the latest in product range, see redbackaudio.com.au. Mm -hmm.